to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. The Bible says in that moment, I don't mean to scare you, but please listen to the other version. The greatest catastrophe more than World War II is what will be happening coincidentally because when about 2.6 billion people professing Christians exit this earth in a moment, what if the person exiting is the pilot flying you? What if the person exiting is the one responsible for some nuclear plant somewhere you think they will wait for you no i mean what i'm saying that moment just like this and that's it you will see bibles on earth you will see him books left in churches unfortunately there will still be many people in those buildings and they will say what has suddenly happened the Bible says two people will be lying together. One will leave and leave the other one there. Others will be grinding their thing to go and cook for their families. The other one will say, no more issue of cooking. I'm on my way going. And you will see that glorious exit. We will wave this version of earth goodbye. Do you know why? Because of the power of his resurrection. At that point, death will no longer have power over us we will not live by blood again no the reign of living by blood ends the moment that trumpet sounds the ministry of blood in our lives would have come to an end we will live by another life the reality the fullness of the earnest of that expectation that that ministry of the spirit the culmination of that salvation experience happens and we are with jesus and let me tell you this i don't mean to scare you it is that catastrophe on earth that will lead to the ministry of the antichrist are you seeing now the chaos in the earth will be too much there will be a need for a religious and a political leader to bring the earth in peace because the chaos will be too much nations and governments will crumble overnight and a world leader will come and say find peace his intelligence and his acumen he will he will bring a level of peace that you cannot imagine and with that peace the bible says for a period of about three and a half years and then he will unleash hell hell that will make world war ii look like humanitarian services i don't mean to scare you this is the word of God. It's called written judgment. No prayer warrior can change it. All over the world and even in this place, you are listening to me. The resurrection is God's determination to see that we never end up in eternal damnation celebrating easter by just eating chicken and jumping and saying whoa i'm happy is a complete waste of that that event the ceremony of it is not where the power comes from it is the commemoration of it the commemoration of it means that you take to heart the significance of it someday jesus is going to come What's that song in my spirit? Take it high for me, please. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. You've forgotten it. Sing it, oh. Hallelujah, he arose. 
Hallelujah, he arose, the Prince of Peace arose. Hallelujah, he arose, so oh yes, so oh yes. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Oh yes, oh yes. And hallelujah, he arose. Here is my question when we all rise and this life is over as we know it no more banks no more universities no more oil and gas no more certificates no more going to the mall to buy anything all the terrorists will leave them there. I don't know who they will attack. <laughs> Everything you've been trying to hide in your house, you're about to go and leave it. The pit you dug in your house to hide money, you will leave it there as you go. Can I tell you, I hate to be a bearer of bad news, but some of you, as you are now, you are not going. I'm not a prophet of doom. It is by the integrity of God's word. There are people who will laugh at us when they hear us say these things as though we are just doing some spiritual gibberish. Can I tell you, everybody in hell is a believer. The only difference is that they believe too late. I don't want to scare you with all the eschatological realities that will happen after this first flight. That all those who do not make this first flight, let me tell you what will happen. The Bible says because of the torture and the persecution that will happen, that people will go to the mountain and beg death. This death you are running away from now. People will look for it and death will say, my ministry is over. Mm, I've not, I'm, I can't. People will beg death. When hell and everything to be unleashed to be unleashed. Now, listen, please. I didn't come just to scare you, nor did I come to flatter you and lie to you. Paul said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. Some glad morning when this life is over I'll fly away when I die. Hallelujah, by and by. I will fly away. Can I tell you this? The question I want to ask is some of you will be on your way going and you will look down and you will see your biological mother behind some of you will get up and you are already that power of resurrection is already in you but you will turn and see all your siblings they will say what is happening and you have to leave for many people it will be a service like this maybe it will even be a koinonia service just when I'm about to pick the mic and say hallelujah, the only thing you will see is your mic dropping on the ground. The fact that you can see it means you are in trouble. <laughs> can I tell you? Please look up. By the privilege of God's grace and by reason of what I do, I'm not a medical doctor. But I have stood before many dead bodies in my life. Many. I've been in a mortuary. I've been locked in a mortuary. Every time I look at a dead body, two things come to my mind. Number one, every dead body also saw a dead body in his lifetime. And now he is that dead body that others are looking at. 
can i tell you this money will not resurrect you education will not resurrect you tithes and offerings will not resurrect you mm -mm. there is only one basis for the resurrection because he resurrected jesus he's given me the basis to know that in life and in death death has been defeated spiritually and will be perfected at that last trump why did i come to teach you today so that as you celebrate easter you only celebrate if that power of resurrection has been deposited in you by reason of acknowledging the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus and placing your faith now you can celebrate you can enjoy and know that i thank god for what has happened to me ladies and gentlemen for a long time we heard that jesus is coming soon and for many people they are laughing coming soon two thousand years there are two ways jesus comes soon he comes or you go the day you leave jesus has come for you let me repeat i'm not scaring you you will live long but can i tell you even if you live 120 years which is the benchmark we're giving you can stretch through right but i assure you by god even lazarus who jesus raised still died everybody who was raised from the dead still died so it is not just the physical living in this body i am the resurrection and i am the life you can hear this preacher preaching and just laugh and say wow he's preaching well on that day when we leave this sermon will be behind to teach you don't give your life to christ under cruelty of the wickedness that will bedevil this world when we are gone do you know what it means for the earth to be pitch darkness the bible teaches that the evangelists that will remain when we are gone are the jews because everyone who names the name of christ will be gone and it is only some of them who although they came from abraham do not believe this truth they will now go back the bible will suddenly become the bestseller after rapture everyone will be looking for the bible to check what else will happen we laughed at this group of people laughing at them and saying they were wasting their times everybody will pick bibles free and have to read and they will find it there people will cry and wail and say god come back they say no this second one it will not just be by you dying and going the trumpet has sounded it has sounded go and read your bible and see the torture that is going to happen to people on account of the antichrist thrown through fire going through all of this that you cannot buy or sell until you receive that mark on your forehead or on on the, the side of your hands and those who escape they will go to the mountain and say fall on us and it will not come the only way out will be matthiadom now you have a chance a cheap chance towards jesus i'm not scaring you it's not a lie it will happen there is no point sugarcoating it ladies and gentlemen it will happen the bible says if our hope is only in this life we are of all men most miserable for jesus to leave heaven and come and pay that price he knows what is at the other side of that disobedience my call for you tonight is are you going to allow the work of the cross his death his burial his resurrection to just waste like that because of stubbornness and rebellion remember the first thing that happened to man was disobedience and the first thing that happened to satan was rebellion do not allow a combination of rebellion and disobedience to separate you from him eternally there are people who have been martyred because of this gospel church history is full of men and women who died believing in jesus i can tell you 
even in death they cheated death my precious and wonderful mentor miles munro sadly he died through a plane crash it was so disheartening why would he die through a plane crash until i realized that he always said it that in death he would cheat death it is only your body that goes can i tell you this those who die huh few minutes before their actual death they don't feel any physical pain again you are the only one sympathizing with the pain of the body i can tell you this few minutes to their death the power of this body and the pain thereof does not hold on them again no matter how deteriorated the body is that transition is happening unto life eternal or unto eternal damnation please look up let me tell you this anybody who dies without jesus there is no repentance again there is no forgiveness again i repeat there is no repentance again it is painful but there are people who have died there is no record in scripture that from the time jesus died and resurrected anyone who died had the gospel preached to them in hell that happened before jesus resurrected remember lazarus he cried a cry and said please what i want you to do is let somebody from this place rise up and enter the world and go to my family members and tell them please this thing is real and hear the reply he said they have moses and they have the law if they don't listen to them even if somebody comes out of the grave today they will not listen to them you don't have to wait until a dead body resurrects and tells you it is real here and there there are people who have resurrected from the dead others have seen nonsense what they have seen we know from scripture that that thing is not it's not a revelation from scripture at all it's just divination they were deceived but there have been genuine encounters of people for this promise is unto you and to your children and listen to me don't sit back there saying i'm happy I'm, I'm glad i belong to jesus if you are the only one who lives out of a family of 200 people and you are the only one who lives you never got to tell them about jesus you know in church sometimes we're afraid of saying this other part because we say we don't want people let me tell you this being saved and being prepared for the resurrection is more than just trying to scare you jesus said when the spirit comes he will reprove the world of three things of sin of righteousness and of judgment i've not been to hell as a revelation so i will not come here and say oh, i was mm, i've not i've seen demons i've seen all kinds of wicked spirits but i've not been given the privilege to go to hell to see it but let me tell you the truth the lake of fire even hell is real believers at easter god mandates that we take a review number one of our lives and our destinies number two we become active intercessors for those who are not saved because let me tell you the catastrophe that happens when the church leaves even your arch enemy you will not want him to go through that kind of thing believe me i told you that the catastrophe that will come to earth will make world war ii look like humanitarian services what then is the significance of easter number one it is a time of gratitude to god for this eternal escape from damnation gratitude to god for using his blood and his sacrifice on the cross to bring for us this eternal escape from damnation translating us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his eternal son number two what is the significance of Easter? A moment of reflection. A moment of reflection. What does it mean to reflect? To think deeply. So that you continue to walk in the truths that you have received. And so that you continue to guard jealously 
in another teaching i hope in one of the series before the year ends we'll be able to deal with this issue i hope i'll remember to bring it once saved are you always saved i will answer it during that series and we'll hopefully bring to end the confusion of what we call eternal security or do you have to keep working out your salvation in both dimensions i have had disastrous imbalances on both sides and i trust that god will give us perspective to understand and we'll be answering questions like can a believer lose his salvation if yes what is the condition are we together so easter is a moment of number one thanksgiving number two sober reflection number three easter should be a moment of active soul winning active evangelism one of the greatest ways to commemorate the resurrection of jesus christ is to be sure to declare to someone go tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere go tell it on the mountain that jesus christ is Lord. you see let me tell you church of the lord jesus christ i am both old and new school we have to be careful at some of these things we have thrown out we have replaced some of these songs you see i'm, I'm not talking about the songs i'm talking about the ideas the average believer today is not soul winning conscious we are receiving conscious don't get me wrong god wants to give us all things freely to enjoy but the average believer is not evangelical in his thinking especially pentecostals and charismatics soul winning zero our idea of soul winning sadly and respectfully for most people is just a strategy for addition of church membership now listen carefully listen carefully and there is nothing wrong with that because until you have membership you cannot train and mentor them the institution of the church is the only platform that is able to mentor and raise believers if everyone seated looking at me now covenants with god that to honor this easter lord i will bring you the gift of two souls three souls think how many people would be saved just during this period we used to sing a song those days please take it down for me so i don't shout in anglican must i go an empty hand must i meet my savior so not one soul with which to greet him must i empty hand and go okay jesus christ i made it what did you bring as a gift nothing i brought myself be grateful that i am saved you will become like that man with one talent who said i know you are a hard man you like reaping where you did not sow it's not enough to be saved you must ensure that through your life imagine how many people will walk up to you in heaven and look at you and tap you and you say who are you you say you may not remember but thank you for giving to the lord i am a light that was saved thank you for giving to the lord I am so glad you came. Listen, may it not be that that day you will turn and see your roommate, you will turn and see somebody you laughed with and ate with in your office for 10 years and never told the person about Jesus. The person drove you as a big man for 15 years, never heard about Jesus Christ. Apostle, but I, I don't want to fall my hand. I can tell you this, believe it or not. The worst one is that you see your family members. Can I tell you, nobody will be spared who does not have that software 
of the resurrection power of Jesus that trump and in a moment all of us in Christ will arise for some of you the Lord Jesus will tell you remember that night in Koinonia when my son was shouting you laughed at the jokes but when it was time for an altar call you sat down when my spirit was telling you this is the moment of destiny we will not be here forever whether we like it or not that is the truth our goal is to live as long as our assignments demand serving the purposes of God and living victoriously but can I tell you you can have assurance today of salvation and you can tap into that resurrection power there is such a doctrine of the resurrection our hope is not only in this life I will pray for you to prosper always I will pray for you to increase always I will pray for you to do well always but my greatest joy is not that you receive these things my consolation should be at the back of your prosperity at the back of your increase you have settled it with God and that power of resurrection dwells within you and you know that whether in life or in death you are victorious till he returns or calls me home here in the power of christ i stand what height of love what depth of peace till he returns or calls me home here in the power of Christ I remember many years ago watching Reinhard Bonke on that crusade ground I was already saved but I watched him I followed his ministry very carefully and I saw times when he started getting old I remember the last time he came for his crusade in Lagos as though he knew it would be his last the day they said he had gone i said my god this man was once alive and now he's gone hear me there are people who were alive as of january this year some have gone in fact there were those who were alive yesterday i would never mean you evil and as far as my assignment is concerned i will keep speaking life so that you will have that body healthy and prepared to leave your assignment but can i tell you it is not a wise way to fear death the purpose of longevity is not the fear of death the purpose of longevity is the time and the enablement to fulfill the purposes of god given to you look at me i want you to kill the fear of death this night to be absent in the body is to be present with the lord and if he comes hallelujah thine the glory hallelujah amen hallelujah thine the glory revive us again before we pray we're going to have three minutes of intercession that will be our corporate gift as a ministry to the lord jesus at this easter to say lord the least we can do is to intercede for the next two minutes for souls but before we do that i want to make an altar call while you are still seated there's no point playing games can i tell you if you take seriously what i'm saying god can give you a chance to make it right i don't need to cajole you no matter how stubborn your spirit is the holy ghost must have penetrated it to tell you that this issue of life and destiny this is it you are saying apostle while i'm seated here i cannot say for sure that if i die today it is heaven there are others who are saying if jesus comes i may be part of the many you are saying will be left behind i don't mean to scare you but listen to me i'm going to count one to three give your destiny a chance 
win that war or you are saying apostle i think i remember making this call but as it is my life has gone haywire i came to church i don't want to play games i want you to run and come and stand here nobody will force you but on that day there used to be a song we used to sing before um what's the song now on the last day on, on the last day only true believers on the last day only true tell you if you know you are going to hell run out and come and stand here don't do big manism for your eternal destiny no it is not a wise choice apostle i'm not sure join them and be sure there is such a thing called the assurance of salvation don't mind all the naysayers who are saying you are coming out it's better to come out five times and be sure than to sit back in assumption and go to hell Come to Jesus. Come to Him. Once and for all, come to Him. Everyone you see who is not coming out must have made this decision. So there is nothing embarrassing about it. If you are coming, all the overflows, please make sure you stand there. We are going to intercede. But I thought to do this so that I get it out of the way. Quickly, please come. Apostle, I've been going to church. I confess that I've been one of the people laughing at preachers. Don't worry, we forgive you. God loves you. Join them. Join them. You have to be saved. After this, you can now say Happy Easter and really believe what you are saying. There is nothing happy about the Easter to a soul that is determined to be damned. Thus will we pass from the earth and its toiling. Only remember by what we have done. Come, I'll give you one more minute. I know there are so many people, but there is still room. There is still room come to Jesus and those of you who are sitting you shouldn't be looking you should be praying because we're from this altar call now we're going to get into praying just five minutes if you cannot invest five minutes of your intercessory ministry for souls you are not a lover of God there's no need hurrying anywhere I want to pray listen to me those of you who are here please look at me the idea is not to scare you but the idea is to leave you with the truth. Jesus died and rose. You took all my guilt and shame when you died and rose again. Now today you reign in heaven and earth exalted. I really want to worship you, my God. You have won my heart and I am yours Forever and ever I will love you You are the only one who died for me Gave your life to set me free So I lift my voice to you In adoration May I please request, I know that there are so many of you, some of you are crying. There's no need to cry. Someday, because of this decision you have made, we will have another kind of koinonia. Not in this place. Do you know there is another fellowship? I know there is another fellowship. Lift your right hand. Please say after me, all of you. 
you may cry but say it jesus is here let him hear you in one minute please say after me from the depth of your heart say lord jesus i come to you tonight just as i am unable to help myself i have heard your word tonight i need you say it again i need you in my life i need the power of resurrection in my spirit i confess you as my savior the one who died for me as my lord the one my allegiance is towards and as my king the governor of my destiny i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare that as jesus defeated sin the grave death and hell i also by this confession i declare my my victory over sin over hell over death over the grave i declare that i have eternal life the resurrection power now lives within me i am a child of god victorious on earth and victorious even after this life in jesus name i pray amen and amen let me pray for you father by their confessions of faith i decree and declare that indeed they not only have salvation but they have the assurance of salvation let nothing ever pluck them from your hand in the name of jesus lord you will save them you will keep them you will establish them now i pray for you the fear of death and doubt whether you belong to jesus or not i command that thought to leave your destiny forever let me remind you that you are not saved just by what you have done no man is able to save himself by the works of the law it is vanity and it is vain you are only saved because you believe in this reality that jesus came he walked upon the earth he died went to hell defeated hell death sin and the grave resurrected triumphantly and now he lives and abides forever now hear me please ladies and gentlemen let me encourage you make up your mind to continue to pursue that which makes for your spiritual establishment even as you have done the house of god is where we are built where we are established it's not just going to church like coming to be a member of a church it is more than that it is being planted in the house of god so that you will flourish in the courts of our god now there are a number of you um and i know that a number of you are rededicating your lives to christ i presume counselors you can manage both sets those who are making their decision the first time you can group them so you spend more time those who are rededicating their life because of the crowd i'm not sure that because we have to get into a prayer session now so you can just pray so that they can return back to their seats there are so many people and so that it can ease up the work for the counselors our focus primarily now as far as follow-up is concerned is those who are saved for the first time so let me encourage you as you go those who are this is the first time you are making this decision it's an opportunity for you they will ask you to be grouped somewhere else please move there so they can just speak a word of prayer for those who are rededicating their lives and then they rush back are we together but for now may i request that you please move to my right which is your left let's celebrate them a number of them okay we are splitting into two right from where i'm standing all those who are here please go this way and then the remaining go that way thank you we're helping to manage because of the number of people let's celebrate them as they go hallelujah now our time is up in the next five minutes we are going to is this is our corporate gift tonight to the lord jesus i want you to think of at least two or three people you know who are not saved 
it could be your loved ones it could be someone and let's cry as a family of faith and say lord they will not go to hell not when we are here if you don't have anyone to pray for pray in the spirit please pray there has to be someone in your life some relative somewhere some unbeliever somewhere and those of you who are viewing following here is your chance to intercede pray for someone's eternal destiny lord that they will not be lost don't be tired lord in the name of jesus we decree and declare from the north to the south east to the west we pray for the unreached we pray for the unsaved we pray for missionaries we pray for men and women who are out there in the field crying for souls in the name of jesus strengthen them lord we pray that you save to the uttermost as a global family of faith we bring to you as a gift our intercession over the lost lord save them we release angels bring them to the foot of the cross pray for your father pray for your mother pray for your brothers and sisters pray for your colleagues in the office pray let a fire of salvation engulf africa nigeria europe pray for europe pray for america pray for these regions that seem to be losing out in many ways lord revive them pray shake parakatos kalibrande getebele kosiata lord we pray for salvation we pray for salvation we intercede for the lost bring them to the foot of the cross in the name of jesus we decree and declare that the power of resurrection will catch up with them that they may know jesus they will pledge their lives and their days to your lordship lord we intercede in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah let me add one more prayer point this one will be to you now you are going to pray and say father the power of resurrection let it speak in my life right now total victory lift your voice and pray the culmination of it will be when the trumpet blasts but there are measures of it that have been given unto us to experience right now Go ahead and pray the power of resurrection it must work in my life that power that raised christ from the dead someone is praying that i may know you and that i may walk in the power of your resurrection the power of resurrection bringing life and vitality to my body 
the power of resurrection keeping me alive all through the moments of my assignment hallelujah in the name of jesus up from the grave he arose with the mighty triumph o'er his foes he arose a victor from the dark domain and he leaves forever with his saints to reign he arose he arose hallelujah christ arose he arose he arose prayer point everything dead in my destiny because he arose i command you by the power of resurrection arise now open your mouth and begin to pray my health that is dead or dying arise now is someone praying because he arose from the grave everything locked up in the grave finances opportunities my destiny i command you by the power of resurrection like lazarus come forth new doors that will give me an opportunity to serve his majesty come forth go ahead and declare Please pray, please pray, please pray. Make meaning of your Easter. Because he arose, I decree and declare. I arise spiritually, I arise financially, I arise destiny wise, I arise. And every power of the grave, every power of the grave every grave clothes over my life every grave clothes over my ministry are you praying every grave clothes over my family my children pray i command you give way right now i lose those grave clothes if he arose then i arise if he arose then i arise pray over every challenge in your life financial challenges health challenges because he arose i arise refuse to remain in the grave he is risen the doctrine of resurrection demands that like he arose you also arise same power that conquered the earth lives in me ah, lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me ah, lives in me prophesy over your destiny same power that conquered the earth lives in me in me your love your love your love that rescued me your lives in me Listen, I want to prophesy and declare and activate that power of resurrection. Now that you are still alive, there are still other things that are dead. And you can't be alive 
and something around your life is now dead i want to speak believe it that in the name of jesus dead finances let the power of resurrection cause you to come back to life now dead relationships come back to life now dead opportunities come back to life now dead health conditions hear me anyone here who is sick in your body and the devil is already trying to see that he deteriorates your body i command that dead organ to come back to life now dead dreams dreams that god gave you but for some reason they have died it comes back to life now giftings abilities that have died that god gave you to bring you increase to bring you significance i decree and declare they come back to life now i hear me anyone wearing any grave clothes in the realm of the spirit by the power that raised christ from the dead i lose you now go free 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 in the name of Jesus hear me any family here represented that has a loved one that is not saved we release angels to those houses we release angels to those houses supernatural encounters through dreams and visions in the name of jesus christ hear me please anyone having dreams of untimely death you keep seeing yourself with dead people you keep seeing yourself dreaming or maybe prophetic words have been coming be careful i see you dying i want to declare to you by reason of the power of death nothing takes you until your assignment is over i repeat nothing takes you until your assignment is over two more prayers everyone here under the yoke of the spirit of fear you can't live your life freely because you are afraid what if i go out and i die what if i come and i die what if i take a plane and it crashes what if i go by road and something happens i command that spirit of death that comes through fear to live your life now in the name of jesus the works of your hands whatever has died hear the word of the lord i bring to you the resurrection power hear me if the grave could not stop jesus from coming back to life i transport anything that needs to come from the realm of the spirit into this physical realm by the resurrection power let it appear in your physical realm here hear me if jesus could leave one dimension into another then every blessing that you need locked up in the realm of the spirit i pull it down to manifest in the physical realm in the name of jesus say after me very loud and clear say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that i am a child of god born of the word and born of the spirit i believe that jesus walked upon the earth i believe he died i believe he was buried i believe he went to the place of the dead i believe he defeated satan sin hell and the grave i believe he resurrected by
by the glory of the father i believe that he ascended to heaven i believe he is seated at the right hand of the father making intercession for me i believe that i am victorious in this life and hereafter no more fear no more limitations no more anxiety i am victorious today and victorious always give jesus a big shout of praise hallelujah the bible says the righteousness of faith speaketh on this wise i want you to go back home today carrying that consciousness i am victorious don't let life bully you in life you are victorious beyond it you are victorious if he rose you will rise on that day but for now everything connected to you must rise to match up what has happened in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hold hands together final prayer and then we're done i am serving a living god his name is Jesus Christ. He died and rose and gave me victory. I have victory. One more time from the depth of your heart. I am serving a living God. His name is Jesus Christ. He died, he died and rose and gave me victory. Now I can tell you, happy Easter. Happy Easter means a victorious Easter. That you commemorate with understanding that you are a victor and you remain a victor forever. Next week, by the grace of God, is a powerful miracle service for the month of April. Hallelujah. We are going to take it in this vein and it's going to be a time of prayer sharing the word and ministering to the needs of people i will never be tired of ministering to the needs of people until the glory of the lord is revealed in your life in the name of jesus christ i want to sincerely listen we're wrapping up but listen to me i want to use this opportunity to sincerely appreciate everybody i may not do this all the time but i want you to know that i appreciate everyone for the labor of love and the efforts the sacrifices i'm amazed to know that sometimes from 10 o'clock people are already here and sitting patiently praying just to have one encounter i assure you of one thing dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, Grant me the discipline.